This is Aaron Dunn speaking. This is my second official introduction video. May God bless every one of you. Hello, Internet Land. This is Aaron Dunn speaking. This is the initial checkout of the Bell South MH9934BK, 900 megahertz cordless analog telephone with digital answer and system. So, what we need to do here, I need to try to put my phone camera aside. Alright, now let me go ahead and plug the battery into the phone. And I did tell you that the battery was a BYD battery, which is made by BYD Battery Company Limited which is at 3.6 volts and 600 milliamps made in China well let me go ahead and put the battery into the phone and see what it'll do for us today hold up okay hold on and It does have a charge to it, however, and yes, the screen age, as you can see here, does have a little bit of dead pixels and everything, but it does actually work. So let me go ahead and try to uh, dial the number. Okay. All right, so let us go ahead and plug the base. This is the base right here. So, let me go ahead and put the phone camera aside. Alrighty then, now let's plug the base into the back of the phone. If I can get this thing to unwrap. Okay, it's been unwrapped. Now let me go ahead and put it into here. Oh, by the way, the uh, Bell South adapter I did show you last time. This was the U090050A, which is the input of 120 VAC, volts AC, at 60 hertz, at 8 watts, which of course would be classified as the one being to the output. But the input or output is 9 volts AC at 500 milliamps, which is a class 2 power supply, which is made in China. Let's plug it in and see what it does. Give me a moment. See, the answering machine is on. I'll have to turn it off real quick. Oh, by the way, um, this is actually a pretty good phone here. And, and right now it is on the charge. So... Needless to say, though, this does have the answering machine function remotely accessed from the handset. And I did not even notice that until now. So anyways, let's go ahead and page the handset. And see if you want to find the lost handset, press the page button. Alrighty then. Alrighty then, now let's turn the volume slider. And it does have a volume slider right there. So let me go ahead and get the analog uh, stick up and running. And um, here's the volume slider. Come on camera, please focus. There we go. Now let's turn it up to the highest volume and see what kind of messages we'll get. So, let's play any messages back and see if there's any new messages that need to be played back. You have no message. Yep, the uh, beep actually sounds the same as the Uniden. Uniden Dan telephones, or phones, if you want to call them that. Anyway, here is the four mailboxes. Mailbox 1, you have no news message. Mailbox 2, you have no news message. Mailbox 3, you have no news message. Mailbox 4, you have no news message. 
that is the uh, female automatic voice that you hear on the machine. So anyway, let me go ahead and um, set the date, time, and hour and minute as well. So let's see, what time is it now? It's almost 3.30. Please enter the day, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, 1, 2, 4, 2, 3 p.m., 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, no okay, so you have to record an announcement, which is very good news. Anyways, let's go ahead and um, try to turn the machine off and then back on. Answering machine is off. Answering machine is on. Let's try that again. Answering machine is off. Answering machine is on. Alrighty then. It does be kind of like the AT and T older models, which I am surprised though, as well as some of the older V Tech models. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, play a new message. If there's any n new messages that need to be played back. You have no message. You have no message. Alrighty then. Now here's the code. The password is nine nine nine. Let's set the code. Please enter new password 0567805678 Wednesday 330. Hold on, let's try that again. Please enter new password 0567805678 The password is 878. Alrighty then, now let's check out the code. The password is 878. The security password or security code is 878. As you can see here, this one is actually made famous because I bought this one off of the eBay. Which makes perfect sense. But, you can also try to call it whenever you feel like it. So let's go ahead and try to call it. Let's try to see how the buttons work on the handset. Hold on, let's try that again. Let's try again. Hold on. Okay, there may be a little bit of trouble with the button issue. Um, let's try to remotely access the uh, answering system from the handset. So let me turn the volume slider down. Alright, now let's go ahead and remotely function the handset, well the answering system from the handset. So here goes. Okay, it may have a little bit of a staticky problem now, since it is at my cabin. 
Alrighty then, now let's go ahead and record a message. If I can try to find out where the recording of the message would be. Hold on. Hold on, let's try that again. Let me turn the volume slider up this time. Please record your message after the beep. Hello, this is a test message for the Bell South MH9934BK 900 megahertz cordless analog telephone with digital answer and system. And this one was recorded thanks to Jordan, Nick, H, and Christopher, as well as Trisha and the others, who wanted to see this telephone ring. So anyway, today is my birthday, so please remember to celebrate my birthday. I'm 25 today. May God bless every one of you. End of recording. Alrighty then, now let's go ahead and, um... Press the play stop button and see if there's any new messages that need to be played back. You have one new message. Message one. Hello, this is a text message for the Bell South MH9934BK 900 megahertz quarters and a long telephone with digital answer system. And this one was recorded thanks to Jordan, Nick, Sage, and Christopher, as well as Trisha and the others. The one to see this telephone ring. So anyway, today is my birthday, so please remember to celebrate my birthday. I'm 25 today. May God bless every one of you. Wednesday, 3.34 p.m. End of message. Alrighty then, now let's go ahead and delete that message. You have one message. Message one. Message one erased. End of message. Alrighty then, now let's record another memo. Please record your message after the beep. This is a terrible, deplorable, quality type answering machine. End of recording. Okay, I did not mean to say that, but let's play it back. You have one new message. Message one. Is a terrible, deplorable, quality type answer. Wednesday, 3.36 p.m. End of message. Okay, now let's see if I can erase all the messages at once. Messages erased. Yes, I can. Alrighty then, now let's go ahead and record an OGM. Please record your announcement after the beep. Hello, you reached the hotline. Please leave your message or I'm not calling you back. End of recording. Hello, you reached the hotline. Please leave your message or I'm not calling you back. Alright, now let's play that OGM back. Hello, you reached the hotline. Please leave your message or I'm not calling you back. Alrighty then. So that's how you record an OGM, but let's see if you can e delete the OGM. Erase. Announcement. Alrighty then. Now let's go ahead and connect the telephone line. So give me a moment. Here is the original telephone line that it came with, so let me plug it in. Okay, one side is already plugging in. So, the other side, I'm going to have to plug in into the telephone line. So, here we go. Alrighty then. Now, the telephone line is being plugged into the telephone. So, there's only one ringer on this telephone, which is unfortunate for H. Because it would have had multiple ringtones. So, anyways, oh, here is some more instructions on the back. It's got the reset button, which you can reset the answer and system just in case of a power function, failure, or something else. Um, the next one that you need to look at is the ringer, which is turned on. So, yeah, there, it, there's the ringer. 
And uh, the next one that you have is the Ring Select, which I said to Toll Saver as the Ring Select Switch. The next one, which of course is the Message Alert, I turned that one off because that Message Alert will beep so loud. And as for the uh, Tone of Pulse dialing, I said the Tone Dialing, so you can see it a lot better. So anyway, let me go ahead. Oh, by the way, there is also another option. I forgot about that. The incoming message or the announce only select, which, of course, is the select switch for either the incoming message answer in mode or the announce only answer in mode. And yes, there is an announce only answer in mode. So anyways, let's go ahead and check out the announce only answer in mode. It says announce only on the display. So let's go ahead and record a announce only outgoing greeting message or OGM. Please record your announcement after the beep. Hello, you have reached the hotline. Please try your call again later or I will hang up on you. End of recording. Hello, you have reached the hotline. Let's try again. Hello, you reached the hotline. Please try your call again later, or I will hang up on you. Alrighty then. So now let's go ahead and erase that announce only outgoing greedy message. Erase announcement. Alright, now let's set it back to the normal answering mode. Yep, it's back to the normal answering mode announcement. So, let us go ahead and check out the handset. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, dial the time temperature hotline on this thing. So let me, so let me get it uh, programmed. Okay, here we go. Alrighty then. Now I know how to set this thing, so let's go ahead and record an OGM for the test purposes. So let's try this one again. Please record your announcement after the beep. Hello. Please leave your message after the tone, or I'm not calling you back. End of recording. Hello. Please leave your message after the tone, or I'm not calling you back. Let's try that again. Hello. Please leave your message after the tone, or I'm not calling you back. Alrighty then. Now let's go ahead and press the flash edit button while on the talk mode. It works, and it does have a uh, decent set of ringtones, but I don't know how to access them. There is no, uh, there's no way to access the uh, ringtones. It's just one ringer. Unfortunate. Anyways, let's go ahead and give this thing a test call.
Nice ringer, too. Recording a message on the uh, Bell South V MH9934BK 900 megahertz cordless analog telephone with digital answering system. And uh, may God bless every one of you, for it is my birthday today. Thank you. May God bless every one of you. Alright, bye bye. Alrighty then, now let's go ahead and press that play stop button. You have one new message. Message one. Recording at message on the uh, Bell South the MH9934BK 900 megahertz cordless analog telephone with digital answering system. And uh, may God bless every one of you. For it is my birthday today. Thank you. May God bless every one of you. All right, bye bye. Waiting 3:45 p.m. End of message. Alrighty then. Now let's go ahead and yep, it just set the time too on the screen. Look at it, H. And see if you can tell me if it is dead pixels or not. Because it does not have much dead pixels at all. So, oh, yep, it just now got a uh, little bit of a dead pixel. So I'll have to try to use the T-tool in order to bring that up. So let me call the time temperature hotline again. See if you can hear it up close. Let me try again. Yep, that works. Let me try to put it back on the side that it was originally on. Alrighty then. Now let's go ahead and erase all those messages. Messages erased. Alright, now let's go ahead and try to get the OGM um, erased as well. Hello. Erase. Announcement. Alrighty then, now let's turn the machine off. Answering machine is off. That was it for this video. May God bless every one of you. Thank you for watching my videos. May God bless every one of you. From here and done.